Changing the status bar color in Android is really simple in NativeScript. On today's short tip, we're going to see how to do that. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Alex. View, 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 more view, please. Well, today's tutorial will apply to NativeScript Core and NativeScript View, and part of it will apply to NativeScript Angular as well. We're talking about how to change the status bar background color in Android. I'll show you a way to do it globally for all the pages in your application, and I'll also show you a tip on how to do it per page if you want to have different color status bars on different pages. This is a quick styling lesson that I took out from the NativeScript Core Pro course available on nativescripting.com. So if you want to learn more about NativeScript and you want to take some deep dives and really extend your knowledge, check out the NativeScript Core Pro course on nativescripting.com. All right, here's the lesson. While on Android, you could change the color, the background color of the status bar programmatically, there are declarative ways in which you can do this as well, both through Android configuration and through NativeScript configuration. So let's go through that real quick. Let's do the Android configuration first. Open up your app resources folder and then the Android folder and then source, main, resources, I know this is going pretty deep. <laughs> then we want to go to values and then finally colors. So here we have some native script defined colors, but these are actually for Android configuration. And these don't really have anything to do with native script UI, even though they are configured by the native script template that we used. Okay, so the one we want to look at is this NS underscore primary dark. This is that gray color that's in the status bar right now, and we can change it right here. So let's say I want it to be really ugly and I want it to be red. FF. 0, 0, 0, 0. That's hex for red. When I save this file, HMR doesn't actually pick that up because it's outside of the scope of the code that HMR covers. However, the current CLI workflow will actually rebuild and redeploy the app real quick in the background. And there's our beautiful status bar background. This will globally set the status bar to red. So whatever page you're going to be on, that status bar will be affected by it. Of course, we don't have to use red. We can use something that matches our application a little bit better, but that's just a demonstration. Now, that's not the only way to change your status bar background color. I'm going to undo this in the colors.xml file, and let's head over to the login page, and I'm going to go to login page.xml. Now, this method is currently not documented for some reason. You can change your status bar background on a page by page basis. All you need to do is just go to the page element here and we can add the Android status bar background attribute and we can set that to a color. Here you can use predefined known colors like red, green or blue or hex colors as well. So for example, if I go with green here, this will be picked up by HMR and it will immediately be reflected on our login page. So there's our status bar with a green background color. Now to show you that this works on a page by page basis, I'm going to copy this now let's head over to the backlog page XML and I'm going to go to the page element here, paste this here and use blue here as the status bar color. Let's take a look. When I log in, now we're on the backlog page and our status bar background is blue. If I log out, our status bar background is green. So that's how you can control the status bar background colors on Android. Let's take a look at showing and hiding the status bar on Android in the next lesson. That's it for this one, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and I'm looking for a new ending phrase. You got any ideas? Leave me a comment down below. I was thinking about something cheesy like happy native scripting. Got better ideas? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if this is the first time you're here, consider subscribing to this channel where you'll get tips, tricks, and tutorials about native script. I'll see you next time and happy native scripting.